This is why I think people should be applying to smaller VA agencies more. Picture this tomato as a VA applicant. So what's happening is, the big VA agencies are pulling applicants into their client matching pool even if there aren't any clients yet. That's why you're seeing people complaining that they are waiting months until they get a client. That's why I think that people should focus their applications to small VA agencies more. Not only is overpooling less likely to happen, small VA agencies also tend to be more transparent, mas tutok din yung owner and trainers, and you can grow together with them before you venture out on your own. Now, I'm not saying that overpooling doesn't happen in small VA agencies, but you do see it less often and it's quite easy to spot. Here's how I check if a job post is actually just pooling candidates. Okay, so let's start with one of the biggest agencies here in the Philippines. This one is called Cyberbacker. If we look at their career page, there's a lot of jobs listed here. For this company in particular, they call their virtual assistants Cyberbackers, hence the name. And if you go into detail on their website, it only briefly says their responsibilities. To be fair, they might be more updated in job platforms. So let's check that as well. So on this tab, I have a virtual assistant opening from Cyberbacker. BC responsibilities, skills, and the technical requirements. But if we actually look at the details, it's still a very generic job post. Even if there's a lot written here, the details are very generic. There's no information about the salary anywhere. And then there are no crumbs or telltale signs of what industry or what kind of client you'll be working with. So I think these are the indications of a company pooling candidates rather than actually having a client and matching the right candidate with them. Now I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this practice, but for applicants, this is actually disadvantageous. So let's try to compare what we see here to some of the job posts that we can see from smaller VA agencies. Okay, so this lesser known VA agency is called Level Up Outsourcing. Let's try to find a virtual assistant job opening here. Okay, here's one. Copywriter slash general VA. Let's look at the details. Okay, so this part, you already have an idea of what kind of client they're trying to match you with. That's a good sign that there's already a, a client just waiting to be matched. What else is here? So you have your responsibilities here. It's still a bit generic, but there are some parts that are more specific like managing LinkedIn account, developing and implementing brand guidelines. So you have a better idea of what kind of day-to-day -day tasks you'll expect while working for this client. Unfortunately, the rate isn't here, so there's some question marks there. So my conclusion here is that this job post is unlikely to be a pooling type of job post. So they have a client in mind and they're just waiting for the right candidate to come. My only other observation here is that they are merging a very specialized uh, role or skill such as copywriting with the general VA role. From what I've seen, usually this merging of specialized skills with the VA title becomes a way for the employer to dilute the role and potentially pay less than the market rate since, you know, it's a mix of the two. But if you're still a beginner in that specialized skill, in this case copywriting, then it might still be a good opportunity. Let's try another smaller VA agency. This one is called Value Virtual Assistance. 
at the very least so far we can see that they already list down specific job openings okay this first one called admin slash bookkeeper ba who is angela is that the client's name the details here are a bit barren but they are quite specific so there's potential for this one this one the freelance administrative assistant slash executive assistant is way too generic i think this is a higher chance that they are pulling candidates then this last one the healthcare virtual administrative assistant if we look at the responsibilities here this is very generic again yeah i think same with the other one this healthcare va job post might be pulling candidates so again nothing wrong with it but I wouldn't prioritize applying to these kinds of job openings since there might be a long wait and if that's important to you, then you might want to look elsewhere. Okay, this next one is called Remote Workmate. Let's look at the jobs listed on their website. Okay, here's one. HOA Management Virtual Assistant. Just from the job name itself, HOA Management VA, you already have an idea that the client is most likely in the real estate industry. And we have clear details about the salary here. And then there you go, about the client. So it's very clear from this job post that they already have a client in mind and that they are just waiting for the right candidate to fill this position. They also have KPI here, which means how they'll measure your success for this position. So yeah, this job post has a very, very low chance that it's just pulling candidates. So Remote Workmate is a good example of a smaller VA agency that is very transparent with their job and client details. So that's the technique I'd like to share today about how I evaluate VA job openings and which one I prioritize applying to over the others. I hope that's helpful to you, especially in avoiding that horrible scenario where you are waiting months just to get matched to a client. And if you're an agency owner or you might be employed in a lesser known VA agency, you can join us on Facebook groups and let us know Para pwede din natin ma-showcase ang yung agency sa ibang video.